Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim Anniversary Edition, the Dragon Hunter run, and hey, there's actually a dragon skull all over my shoulder, that's quite nice. Last time we got ourselves some badass armour, a fair bit of gold, and enough potions and ingredients to deal with my money for quite some time. Uh, what we're needing to do now... Oh, we also got a wooden staff of ancestors, which could come in handy. In fact, I'm going to favourite that, because it really could come in handy. What we're going to do now is in the shadows, where the Jarl is being assassinated. Let's just casually deal with it. So we need to grab a ledger from Arcadius Cauldron, and then actually leave the city. Into the Cauldron we go, and we now get a business ledger, which if we just have a quick read through, it'll tell us a bunch of places that have poison. So it's like, oh, the Jarl might get poisoned or something. And yeah, there's the Hall of the Dead, the stables, and is there another one? No, let's go check out the stables. So in the stables, a place that I actually checked earlier in a bit that I uh, cut out, is first off the Luna Steel War Axe, and the stable hand's note of like, yeah, I'm going to assassinate the Yarl other bandits, gra de gra, we're working with a Dark Elf Assassin. Apologies that I'm not running for all of this, but um... It's a little anniversary edition quest. This is probably how I'm going to be doing most of the quests in general. Like, Skyrim's well over a decade old at this point. I don't think we all need, like, reminders of what the quests go like constantly. Do let me know in the comments if you disagree. If there's a lot of you being like, no, take it slow. Let's, let's fail this <laughs> series. Then go for it. But seeing as it is 50 dragons in, like, 22 episodes... Uh, I want to, like, zoom through for the most part. Off over this way, we have the little camp we're going to, and I already see that a bandit's actually out of position. And, um... Let's just equip this, I think. Just in case. Yeah, the bandits are actually running off over that way to fight a wolf. This could be handy for me. They're gonna, yeah, isolate a bit. That is lovely. Okay, you know, you know what? I should probably use one of these weapons I've picked up. And that Luna Steel War Axe, that should come in kind of handy. I know I'm supposed to be playing uh, as a one-hand, uh, two-handed character, sorry. But for now, I think I can justify a quick bit of... Ow. A quick bit of chopping up with one-handed. I'll only level up the skill a couple of times. That should be enough to deal with this. Okay, they're not coming up this way, that's fine. I'm just gonna... Well, I'm gonna wait a minute, heal up, and then re-equip my stuff. But look at this, we're already getting some arrows. That's gonna come in handy for the archery. It also appears I've been able to level up Sneak a little bit. Because, yeah, they've... They've not detected me. <laughs> Which is weird, and kinda handy as well. Because there's gonna be someone in here with, like, ebony arrows. I don't think they'll have a great bow, but the arrows are a concern. I do wonder. Okay, I'm gonna quick save here, because if I can do it without wasting a charge on the staff, that'd be nice. Yeah, this guy here, if he's just willing to, uh, lovely, die with the arrows. Oh, they're archers. Yep, yeah, they're all archers or mages. That went just perfectly. That was great. Oh, lovely stuff. That means, yeah, there's a hunting bow, which I don't know why I'm bothering picking up. Ooh, a Conjure Familiar. I, I know that one. Uh, some poison. Lovely. Okay, I have Vange. And, okay, I only one Ebony Arrow on you. But there'll be the Assassin's Journal here where he's like, Oh, I'm gonna kill the Jarl in the place where no one will expect. Dragon's Reach. I'm just gonna stand up there and shoot him. I'll totally get away like that. It's a very dumb plan, to be honest with you. But, oh, that's good. That's, okay, some good stuff to pick up here as well. Let's take the Lunum Iron Mace. Lovely. I think we're a bit too low level to get any more of the Luna stuff. Oh, no, the Luna Iron War X there. Lovely. And, oh, there's another Ebony Arrow. All right, not too many Ebony Arrows going around, but that's, that's a few. The more of those we can find, the better. Lovely, but that actually went really well. I was expecting things to go... At least a bit worse than that. Right, back to Dragon's Reach. And I wonder, can I just... I can summon my little ancestral ghost up there. 
because you get a quest marker telling you exactly where the invisible assassin is. Oh, he's running over to me. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, here's the invisible assassin, who's, there we go, noticed me, and... Okay, hopefully my ghost will run forward. There we go. That's it, because, yeah, now the assassin is, a. Uh, Fully noticed. That's it. Anyone else want to go in and fight? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yeah, so... My, my poor little ghost guy got murdered, but that's fine. Because there's now, yeah, a guard, and a bunch of immortal people, and even more guards. So yeah, this assassin uh, is going to be dealt with. The only thing I'll need to do... Oh, someone just cast a fireball. Yeah, once he goes down like that... <laughs> chop because you have to deliver the Killing Blow yourself. And we get the Ebony Arrows, and the Bow of Shadows, which draws faster and casts invisibility on you when you draw it. The invisibility honestly isn't great, but a fast drawing high damage bow, I am more than happy to take. Lovely. We need to and my yeah, to Preventus. I, uh, I took care of, well, assassin. you guys took care of the Assassin, but I found him. Excellent. You You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Good stuff, so there's 500 gold for that as well. And also a few arrows that have just been shot around the place. I've made my way back to Riverwood, because I'm now going to do Bleak Fool's Barrow. That's right, it's been like... an episode. I want to do the dragon fight as the final thing. So, the start of the episode, getting a fancy bow. Mid part of the episode, going for a for the Bleak Falls Barrow. I can't speak again. Why? Is it, is it? I think it's the same point in the recording as well. I get about 10-15 minutes into the recording and then I just, my, my tongue goes, yeah, I'm going to take a nap right now. So helpful. Yeah, I'm just going to head up to Bleak Falls Barrow. We'll do that as like the bulk of the episode and the final bit will be the dragon fight. Yay! On the way to the Barrow, we do have these bandits to deal with. But this seems like a decent time to see how the bow works. So the invisibility does have some help to it. It's certainly not bad. What's the drop off like? But yeah, you stop being invisible once the arrow's shot. So it by no means guarantees you'll actually be stealthy. But hey, the, the bow's doing a good job and oh, you're perfectly fine, huh? Cool. Well, free kill cams for the price of two. That's something. Oh, and look at that grouping. Oh, I'm okay-ish at this, aren't I? That's kind of handy. And I should get plenty of arrows back. Okay, and yeah, there's another bandit in here. I was thinking they were supposed to be free. But only uh, two of them actually showed up. And the final one, I'm guessing, is at the top of the tower? Well, let's just be invisible again. And oh, he's detected me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the invisibility does not help too much, but... Oh, blast. Lovely. I, did the dog poison him? Or, like, disease him? I think that genuinely might have happened there. Well, all good for me. Here we are at Bleak Falls Barrow, and yep, looks like the enemies have started to realise I'm here. But, you know, the invisibility kind of helpful. I'm going to be more combat archer than stealth archer. But I figure while I've got the opportunity... Wait, did you...? <laughs> I feel like I just did a lot of damage with my bash there. Are you really gonna duck behind this area? Fine, I'll just loot your buddies while you get a bit closer. Okay. I am gonna have to be a bit cautious of arrows. A steel warhammer. You know what? I will take it. And let's actually hotkey that as well. I've got a lot of stuff, and I'm definitely going to need to do some uh, selling after all this. But, let's get on to the Warhammer side of things as well. Because, you know, I am a Warhammer fan. It's been stated many times. There we go. It is good for finishing off enemies in a kill cam. There's one thing uh, that I will give credit to two-handed things for. If you've got just one enemy and you do a power attack, there's a good chance of getting a kill cam from it. Alright, I think I'm going to go a bit more stealth archery on these two, because, yeah, it should be nice and simple. Lovely, and now we can just progress through the start of the barrow. I just got the big discovery sound. Is it because I made it through the very easy door? <laughs> like, I'm not sure why, but the game was suddenly like, 
A monumentous discovery. Is it Beskivas? Okay, I was wondering if the bash damage would be enough to deal with them. It doesn't appear to be the case. I think I'm going to have to just shoot each of them once. That's fine. This is combat archery, you know. So let's just do this. And if I'm lucky, I'll get some of my arrows back. Because currently I don't have a boatload of arrows. I mean, I've got over 100. But this is Skyrim. The arrows go pretty fast. So I don't want to waste too many of them. And I am actually about to... I wonder, can I bash open this part? Oh, not with no stamina, I can't. Okay, let's just... Come on, stamina. I don't, I don't want to waste a single arrow. Fine, I'm going to waste a single arrow. There. I'll pick it back up in a second. Okay, I, I don't know why it didn't want to drop there. But we should easily enough be able to deal with this. Yeah, frostbite spider. It's going to try and attack us, I think. But... Yeah, if you just dart in and out of here, because it can't get through, Skyrim and E's aren't very good with pathing. Lovely stuff, and twang. Did, did that not hit either of them? Oh, is it because I'm shooting him exactly? Is it, like, not accepting it? Let's just... Oh, and I shot it between his legs. Okay, one arrow in the back at least. Oh, an amethyst, lovely. Okay, I'm going to do my looting while he runs off and dies. And then I'll come back to him. Quick bit of looting, and more importantly, a change up of the hotkeys. And now it's just... Really? Okay, well clearly I need to be boosting my uh, damage. Let's just go more health. I want to... Wow, I've... Okay, I've leveled up a little bit more than I thought I had. Uh, let's just get archery and... Oh, two-handed as well. Let's throw a perk point into two-handed straight away. Make that 20% better. And two into archery. Lovely stuff. So I do want to make sure I'm actually last killing my enemies when they show up. Okay, that one clearly just walked into the door. And how are you? Stop living. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, just reached you. Good. 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 Okay. Probably going to need to use two-handed a little bit in this dungeon as well, by the looks of things. Um, hey oh, that's not gone too badly. Oh, yeah, the problem with invisibility is as soon as you loot or touch anything, you stop being invisible. So, um, it's not actually super helpful most of the time. Uh, are we going to thank you? Well, that's, there we go. Let's smack you up. And perfect. Going to be getting a lot of kill cams. Oh, <laughs> this rate. Hey, and two-handed going up. That's good. If anyone has tips for two-handed, do let me know, because it's it's one of my least played play styles in the game. I really don't go in for it too much. Yeah, of course I miss that shot. Of course I do. Okay, let's just shoot you. And then start swinging. I I also don't know what the reach is like on the two-handed weapons, so I could probably do with actually being a tiny bit further away from some of these enemies. Man, I'm genuinely surprised that my uh, arrow shots are not one-shot killing. Like, I guess I've probably hit a point where enemies are a little bit stronger, and that's what's going wrong. How? How do I not have enough reach to hit this pot? There we go. And now I've got to heal myself up because I took a lot more damage than I should have right there. That was not super helpful. Let's see if I can one-shot you. See, that wasn't a sneak attack. Yeah, the invisibility effect on the bow is not helpful. <laughs> like, it only works if you're somewhere where you wouldn't be seen anyway. Which kind of defeats the purpose of inv invisibility. It's like, oh, I can turn invisible, but only when no one is looking. Which I'm pretty sure is a superpower in the film Mystery Men, if I'm recalling that correctly. I'm never certain with Skyrim how the collision works, but it does appear I can shoot through that. That's good to know. Yeah, now that guy's knocked down, and I'm a bit slower with the two-handed weapon. But okay, just quick enough to get in there. And that does 
four less damage. I do wonder if it's better for me to go for like great swords over Warhammers because they swing a bit faster. I guess we'll see just what I happen to come across as I play. Alrighty, we're into the next bit, and I figure I may as well... Oh, let's switch. There we go. Lure some of the enemies into this trap, because it did actually hit me. I, uh, I was trying to be sneaky, but I had the wrong weapon equipped, and yeah, it didn't work out well. But that's fine. That's all perfectly fine. Because this shouldn't be too challenging anyway. Like, I've done this dungeon enough times, right? Maybe I can... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to worry about trying to hit those things. It's not worth it with our, with this slow old hammer. It's so not worth it. Let's instead run up this way. And chop. Chop. There we go. The kill cams are nice. I appreciate the kill cams. But I'm yet to be sold on two-handed in general. Into the main chamber of the sanctum. And it's time to get this shout. That should do it. And now, let's see about just smashing up this overlord as much as possible. That's it, you waste your time shouting at me rather than swinging your nasty axe. Lovely. That's not an axe, that's a sword. Oh, but it's a sword that actually seems... Oh no, it's, it's not better than mine. I mean, it technically does one more point of damage. You know what? Let's have it equipped for now. It'll... it'll do. It swings faster enough to be better DPS at the very least. And I'm also going to loot the two other chests in this place, just in case there's anything good in them. Yeah, nothing particularly incredible in either chest, but a bit of extra loot's still a bit of extra loot. I've made my way back to White Run. And I happen to have picked up both a pickaxe and a woodcutter's axe on my journeys. So what I'm going to do is chop up a bit of firewood, because I can combine it with iron ingots in order to make 24 arrows a piece. Lovely stuff. And yep, yep, yep. Let's check now. 230 iron arrows, much better. And I've got a few ancient Nord. One steel arrow, and 46 ebony, which will be good for dragons in the future. And speaking of future dragons, yep, the dragon stone. Cool, cool, cool. Skip over this. And yep, oh, Delphine has shown up now, because yeah, I didn't... I technically had spoken to the Yarl beforehand. Yep, and unfortunately we will have to deal with Delphine a bit later on. I mean, we don't have to, but it's going to be a lot easier dealing with her. You need to come at once. Okay. What is so excited about. Yep, yep, yep. Dragon has you been sighted. Cool, cool, cool. Dragon. Let's oh, head off. Okay, I can't it? sell anything what to him just do? yet. But I'm going to run up this way, and they're going to tell us to fight the dragon. I'm skipping oh, over no. it again. I apologise, but we've all seen this so many times. Have any of you, like, not seen this? Has anyone not seen this before? I... I'm sure there'll be, like, one person, but... Hey, it, we're going to get told to fight a dragon. I'll leave the dragon fight in. I'm not going to edit that out. I was going to disenchant pretty much everything, but I've realised that might actually hurt me. Because I don't want to be too high a level. Yeah, I'm actually not going to disenchant my stuff just yet. I'm going to leave it as is and just go and fight this dragon right away. Alright, apparently there's no signs of a dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. And yeah, everything being on fire does kind of give it away. And yet the Western Watchtower is now discovered. Lovely stuff. Oh, and some steel arrows. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I think I've got enough carry weight to be good for now. And yeah, some people got grabbed. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Let's make sure to switch to lovely, my bow. It's not going to grab me. I'm invisible. And oh, yep, there it comes. Oh, dear. I... Now, you don't actually need to fight this dragon, but I think it's only fair that I try. I, I've got all these arrows. Like, really, arrows are the best thing for killing a dragon, because they do just fly around a lot. And if you can just shoot a lot of arrows towards it, you're going to hit in the end. Like, that's just going to work. Oops, I can't believe the smoke is managing to be in my way there. Here we go. Lovely. Missile, yep. Get us a good number of shots into the side of a dragon there. Perfect. Just 
Just keep it busy with attacking guards and stuff. And try and get... Hey, I even got it while it was floating up. It's really difficult to hit a dragon that's flying around in the air. But at points like this, it's quite easy. Oh, did it just... I think it just collision knocked one of the guards to the ground. Oh, that's kind of amusing. Alright, yeah. This is this is going to be our easiest dragon fight, I think, of all of them. Just because... Um, oh, that was a bad shot. Oh, just because there's so many other things for it to attack. That went quite a bit over. Oh! That horn was unfamiliar. Is there always that horn sound effect? I'm genuinely not used to that. That seems a bit strange. Um, okay, keep shooting. And let's now switch to the great sword that we got along with the dragon stone. Lovely. Finish it off with a bit of two-handed. That's all good. And now, yeah, Mr. Dragon Buddy. Uh, oh dear, here's one of the people you killed. Yeah. Okay, now we shall absorb your soul. Nom nom nom. It's actually being absorbed over there for some reason. Nom 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 nom. Lovely stuff. And yep, we now have shouts. Ooh, dearie dearie me. There we go. Dragon bone, a few dragon scales. And I mean the guard's armor and stuff is technically worth picking up. But I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. I should be pretty good for all the stuff I have, and boy, yeah, it looks like quite a few of the guards actually died. I suppose it didn't go for me at all, so it was only going for the guards. And, yep, they're gonna be like, oh, you're the dragon- oh, wait, who's gonna tell me I'm the dragonborn? I can't believe it. You. You're dragonborn. Uh, what are you on about, buddy? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you're right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Yep, so now if I go down here, boom, unrelenting force. That's right. My grandfather force. Thorn tells stories about she summons the, the thorn. Yeah. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. Foom indeed. Killing any okay, so yeah, we've now killed our first dragon. And the general stats doesn't have, like, a dragon's killed thing. Which I find a bit of a shame. But what it does have is me about to sneeze. Okay, it was one of those false sneezes. What it does have is dragon souls collected. And this is going to be our counter for dragon's killed. Because it's... It's essentially the same thing. I think Mirac could screw with it. But as long as I don't go over to Solstheim, I should be fine. I think. I don't think he's going to steal souls from me. I really hope I'm right on that. If anyone can confirm that, that would be quite reassuring. But yeah, in combat, there's people, animals, creatures, undead, and Daedra. I'm guessing the dragon counts as a creature. Because I've only killed one creature. I suppose it could be an animal, but I doubt it. So yeah, uh, that's that's not too bad. We've got our first dragon dealt with. That's that's a that's a good start to things, you know. Does mean we're now going to have dragons randomly appearing, which could be challenging. But you know what? We need dragons to randomly appear, so it's not entirely bad. Now that we've slain our first dragon, it's You're time to tell here. the Jarl about the it. Been waiting so what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? It sure was. I killed the dragon. I deserve a reward. I'm also going to kill 49 more of them. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honour among the heroes of Whiterun. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange... Happen when the dragon died? I wish there was an option to just be like, no, it was perfectly normal. You know, your perfectly normal dragon attack, like we're all used to. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. And a little speedy tip here, you don't need to ask about the Greybeards. Just back You've out. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honour that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia 
as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. The Greybeards. Excellent. You hear the thundering... So now I have the Axe of White Run, which is always oh, actually a Soul Trap Axe. You know what? Let's hotkey that one instead. Yeah, why not? Let's have that as our new hotkeyed number one. And also, let's have a quick chat with Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Yep, come along, Lydia. Let's see how long you survive. Lead the way. Perfect, so now we've got our dragon hunting buddy in Lydia, and we've slain our first dragon. That's that's a pretty good series of events, I'd say, all in all. Um, yeah, I suppose next time I'll be heading to Ivarstead and chatting with the Greybeards. Do let me know in the comments how much of a Greybeard section you'd like to actually see kept in the video, because... It's a bit long and very talky. You learn a bunch of shouts, but I, I can just be like, hey, I've made it to the top of High Hrothgar, and then just cut ahead to, I've learnt the shouts they told me. Or I can keep bits in. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Uh, any tips as well, also leave them in the comments, actually. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for future episodes. There's Twitter, Discord, Patreon, if you're feeling particularly generous. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.